that's a little bit old, that chart. That chart's a couple of months old. And if you uh, want to really see something that said, take a look at what happened. Oh. Yesterday on the 13th, during a rally in Butler, Pennsylvania at about 6.15 p.m., Donald Trump was on stage and only a few minutes into his speech when multiple gunshots were heard, Trump suffered what looks to be a minor injury to his ear while two others were injured in the crowd and one was sadly killed. But that's not stopping the quick and damaging reactions some are having to the event. From Marjorie Taylor Greene blaming Democrats and the media for the shooting with no evidence or precedent or anything else, just moments after the shots, to Ben Shapiro ironically calling out media as ratcheting up the rhetoric surrounding our politics that could lead to such violence. It's a shocking, shocking moment in American history, a terrifying moment in American history, and the culmination of a long effort, no matter how you slice it, to ratchet up the level of rhetoric in the United States surrounding our politics such that this sort of assassination attempt could ever even happen. Even though he's been at the forefront of much of the conservative um, kind of hate machine, even small-time conservative YouTubers are making claims like the Chicago conservative did, saying that this was a democratic establishment, that he thinks this was an attempt by President Biden. Let me just say this and let me get this right off my chest. You guys already know who I think did this. I think it was the Democratic establishment. I think it was Joe Biden. I think they did this because they knew Joe Biden wasn't stepping down. So this is the only option that they that they had to do, guys. They literally just tried to kill Donald Trump. They tried to assassinate this man. On the left, I've seen memes, thickening memes that essentially said they wished the bullet had taken Trump out. You can dislike the man. He did me even. But we should never be celebrating violence. All these people should be ashamed of themselves for treating this like it's a game or a popularity contest for clicks and saying such asinine things. A person died. Two others are critically injured. And the former president was almost killed. And they are already in the driving more hate for more clicks brigade. This is the culmination of media types like them driving fear, anger, and false narratives. We all need to be like Biden was yesterday. Even though Trump is his opponent in this, and they are seriously divided in the types of character, Biden paused the campaigning to instead reach out. Trump, even called on people to stand united and not let evil win. For those on the right, be at least as good in character as the doddering old man you make fun of all the time. And for those on the left, Trump shouldn't be an aspiration of civility for you to attain. We all should be better than this.